What's up guys, it's Catherine's Production 72 and back with another Friday video which you will notice is not Figure Friday. This is not a permanent change, I just decided that today I would like to start this new series. This series has no set upload schedule, it will not appear on a certain day every week or every week. It might be bi-weekly or once a month or really just whenever. So, welcome to my new series. Um, over the years we have only ever done really Star Wars stuff, like major collections, as you can quite clearly see. But today we're going to start a new series and that is, and I'm happy to announce, collecting every Lego Indiana Jones minifigure. I don't know why I feel like I have to include the box there. So in total, according to Brickset, there is 47 Indiana Jones minifigures. Now that's only ranging from 2008 till 2009, the original run of the sets, and then of course it disappeared for 14 years, but here in April of 2023, so in basically less than two months, we have the new sets dropping, which means new minifigures to add to the collection. So I thought now would be the ideal time to, you know, start off a new series, you know, collecting every Indiana Jones minifigure ever made. Because this year I'm kind of focusing on minifigures mostly as part of my collecting. One of my favourite things about this year so far was the light up this window. That's besides the point. So, in this episode, um, I were, before filming, I already had two minifigures from the team. And in preparation for this new series, I have bought another three. I've also got a stand going, and I'll explain my whole system. Let's jump right into that. So, here's a stand. It can hold basically up over 100 figures, which is ideal. I don't know if it will need that much space, but I've kind of got an organisational system. <clears throat> So, I have previously, I already had a couple minifigures. We have the original Indiana Jones, which is from Quarter Bricks, it is the very first minifigure, which is, you know, a really nice minifigure. Got the whip, gun, the satchel. The new one will have a hat hair combo. So, this is a really cool minifigure overall, and he will be up the top. Because up the top will be the Raiders of the Lost Ark section. really good up there. The reason he goes in that exact spot is, um, the way I'm going to be doing this, um, I was just sort of off with and then eventually I might just do it by minifig number. Um, although right now until I get a whole bunch of them, I'm going to organise them by movie. So it's going to be these two rows, Bridge of the Lost Ark, a space, Temple of Doom, a space, The Last Crusade, space, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Space and then this whole bottom bit will be devoted to the new movie that section down there. So the other minifigure that I've already had was the second one, at least in a quantum brick set. And it is the Henry Jones Senior, the one with the grey safari hat. He also had the tan one which is more accurate to the movie. The real cool minifigure, the umbrella, <coughs> the briefcase, the little book which is all part of that movie as well. So. Real cool minifigure, so if... So there we go, we have a third second minifigure now. <clears throat> I've had this idea for the video for well over a week, and I actually bought an order, which that will be the theme of these videos, these will come out whenever I buy new figures, so... We got one, we got a bag. We got three minifigures in here, so let's get into these guys. So all of these are the German soldier minifigures, which are some really cool minifigures if I do say so myself. Um, Lego don't do things like soldiers or anything to do with war, so it's kind of cool that we got these. Oh, and his gun fell off, pretty cool gun. And something that's really cool, this will be returning with the new sets. We're getting the German pilot. In one of the sets. So the way these minifigures will work, and there's two more of them, all different variants. So basically, the bottom row will be, you know, bad guys. So I'm gonna put that up there. Like the top three section of two rows: top row good guys, bottom row bad guys. One will go in from one side, one will come from the other. Plus it kind of adds a variety. Got another one. Different. The hats. Torsos and legs are the same, but it's really just the difference of the face. This one's got a face, this is like the one I just showed before. 
this face appears a lot in the Lego Star Wars theme. You know, on Imperial officers and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. You can kind of reflect the printing on like the belt buckle and stuff. So I do like that. Put them up there. And the last one for this video is this minifigure here. Um, some of the minifigure faces in the end ones were quite weird. A good example right here of one of the stranger ones. Again, he's got that long gun. No bank running because it's from 2008. All three of these minifigures are from the set Race for, Stol Race for the Stolen Treasure. So, I think this is a pretty good start to my goal. Um, I don't really know when this will be completed. Here we are. Out of the 47 that are listed, this is not including new minifigures, is what I've been able to obtain so far. And honestly, it's not looking too bad. Especially that, you know, I've got some stuff. I would like to try and, for the next video, add some stuff from the other movies. Because basically, I have something from Raiders of the Lost Ark. I have The Last Crusade, so I need to get something from the Temple of Doom and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. So one of those movies will get a little bit of a fill for the next video. Again, a part of me is thinking about just organising these via the minifigure number. Um, I think all of these would end up in the same row if I did that. I don't know, I kind of like this a little bit of a spaced out look we got going. Hmm. So, this probably begs the question, what minifigure will be coming next, and what will the, the next episode be? <coughs> Sorry, I forgot there. Well, the next episode I plan to have probably towards the end of February. When will this be done? I don't know. I've got no problem about the next minifigure I get, like I said, will probably be something from one of the movies. Um, I'm going to try and work on getting more of the soldier variants for like the, the Germans and the Russians, which were, you know, in a lot of sense. Um, probably going after some of the cheaper ones first to try and knock a few of them out. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this very first episode. Figure Friday will resume as normal next week. I just thought it would be fun to throw this in here and I really want to do it. It's cool to start off with these three mini figures. Again, there is 47 at the time of filming. This will go up come April 1st. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If there's a minifigure you want me to grab sooner rather than later, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.